Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our March 2021 uh, Rising Star Student of the Month. We're so happy to have you all with us. We have an amazing group of students uh, this morning, uh, as we do every month. It's my favorite Friday. I say that every month that uh, I just enjoy this program so immensely and hearing from these amazing students is uh, just a great way to uh, end my week on such a positive note. So I wanted to um, share with you the mission statement for our program is to bring our community together to honor our local high school seniors for demonstrating character, integrity, love of learning, involvement in school, and community activities or the ability to overcome challenging life circumstances without compromising their education. The core of the rising star of the month is the student who makes a difference in their home, school and community with sincerity and passion. So with that, um, next up, we're gonna head over to Guahomey Park Academy, Mr. Humphrey. Again, wanna echo everybody's sentiments. I'd like to thank Rachel, uh, Kent and Kathy. They've done an amazing job of keeping this thing uh, going. It looks like we're getting closer and closer to at some point in time, being able to see each other here in person. So uh, that's exciting news. We continue to, to see improving uh, improving situation here locally and uh, across the country. So uh, I can't wait. Uh, I have the distinct pleasure today to introduce Alicia Yamas as uh, Guahomey's Rising Star of the Month. Alicia has the distinct honor of being, well, probably one of our first students who's been at Guahomey in one way, shape, or form longer than, uh, than I have. Her family and uh, um, is, plays such an important role, uh, such a selfless role at, at our organization and helping to not only navigate what we're currently going through in the pandemic, uh, but also uh, in our everyday activities um, before that. And she really epitomizes the selflessness, the, the bravery, the, uh, the high expectations, uh, but also uh, somebody who really uh, is willing to try new things and put uh, themselves up out there. Uh, she's so strong academically. Uh, she has uh, very high asp uh, aspirations when it comes to where she wants to be able to go and what she wants to be able to do. Uh, but truly, she's just such a pleasant young lady that we've been able to see grow up in so many different ways here at Guahomey. I'm really excited to be able to introduce Alicia Yamas and her family. And uh, take it away, Alicia. Um, I'm joined by my mother, Maria and also my wonderful English teacher, Ms. Ritchie. And I just wanted to start off by saying that as a high schooler at Guahomey, I have learned that responsibility and independence is what kind of makes your high school year because this is kind of preparing you for the real world. But I've also learned that independence does not necessarily mean that you are alone. I've learned that there are some burdens that are too heavy for you to carry on your own. And I've learned to trust my peers. This was a hard lesson for me because I am independent and I am very stubborn and I struggle with asking for help. But this lesson is something that I feel is very important. And I feel that the musical Newsies said it best when they said that being a boss doesn't mean you have all the answers, just the brains to recognize the right one when you hear it. Being a leader doesn't necessarily mean that you have all the answers because realistically you won't. And being a leader means that you just recognize the unique strengths of those in your groups and you play to them. I will be taking this lesson with me to university where I hope to study marine biology at either UCLA or UC Santa Barbara. And then I will hopefully get my master's in the same. Um, I chose marine biology because I had a love for the ocean, living in California, and a respect for all of its creatures. But also, as a girl wanting to be in STEM, I didn't see very many role models of women, especially women of color in STEM. And I wanted to change that in the field. And I hope that my work will help inspire many young girls to pursue a career in STEM. I would like to thank the sponsors and also the Chamber of Commerce for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Ms. Ritchie, would you like to say a few words, please? Absolutely, thank you. Um, I'm so honored to be here to talk about Ali today. Um, I have known her for the past two years as a student in my IB Lang and Light class. And as I'm sure a lot of you can just hear, she has this kind of 
quiet maturity about her, um, this kind of reserved nature as she kind of spoke to. Um, and I'll just tell a quick story. When I first met Ali, she was in one of my class periods. Um, and, you know, every class kind of has its own dynamic. And within a couple of weeks, her schedule changed and she got transferred to another class period. And I was like, oh, no, she's so quiet. She's going to kind of fall to the background. She was so comfortable. I was completely wrong. Allie kind of took charge. She had this strength and this leadership about her. She was answering questions. She was leading discussions. And um, somewhat of how she spoke, she has such an ability to play on other people's strengths without being overbearing. Um, and it's just a quality that not many students her age have. Um, and then come the semester, her schedule changed again and she went back to the first class that she was in. And I was like, oh no, you know, and it's kind of a common thing that student schedules change. And again, um, Ali never missed a beat. She picked up right where she left off. She was able to um, re-energize that first class. Um, and she just has such a wonderful quality to inspire those around her um, in such wonderful ways. And it's truly been an honor seeing her grow over the past two years. And there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to achieve such wonderful things um, with these leadership abilities and um, these academics that she's accomplished. So congratulations. I'm so, so proud of you. And you are so deserving of this honor. Thank you, Ms. Ritchie. Uh, last but not least, we're going to have, I think, the wonderful Maria Yamas, uh, Ali's mom, share a few words. Yes, hi. Thank you. Um, you know, we're all... We're so proud of Allie. Um, every day she makes us proud. She, um, she is kind, compassionate, intelligent, extremely driven. Um, you know, ever since she was little and just started to read, she's had a book in her hand and um, she always said she was going to make the world a better place, you know, helping the animals, um, helping everyone around her. And I'm just so amazed by her every day. I know she's going to do amazing things. And I want to thank the sponsors and um, the Visit Chamber of Commerce. This is an amazing event, especially right now, to recognize these kids and what they're doing, despite everything that they're going through. Um, it's just unbelievable and I thank you so much. This means so much, not only to them, but you know, to us. Um, and I, I think Wahomi, I think the teachers, um, the entire time Ali has been there, you guys have been so supportive, um, so inspiring, just absolutely wonderful with all the kids. And I just can't thank you guys enough for this. We're, we're, we're really proud of her, and I know this is just the beginning. So thank you so much.